All right, final segment. We're going to just like lap it up, lap it up. Hope you've been taking notes. If not, go to the website, watch the whole thing over again. Uh, time with Wayne Lee about how we can have our best 2017, how we can empower ourselves to make the changes that we want, to live the life that we want to live, have the, the magical life that we have. Because I love that word with you, magic. It means something much more to you than it does, say, to Disney. Because oh. it's a much more empowering, real thing than just about princesses and living fairy tale lives. It's actually a thing. It's real. Yeah. Life is magic. Yeah. I've coined that in terms of life is magic. I believe that we have this unlimited power within us, call it magic, mm -hmm. that allows us to be, do, have anything. And more importantly, live feeling it. So feeling that magic. So magic is manifesting and growing into creation. Love it. Yeah, so manifest whatever you want into creation. Uh, grow that into creation. And it's also, you know, I look back at when my mom gave me a magic kit in grade two. Yeah. The effect that it had on me, it was, it was like a spark to realize you know, the sense of wonder for everyone mm -hmm. is yeah. always, always there, but sometimes we lose it. It's also about connecting. Uh, magic is about my alignment generates instant creation. Hmm. Alignment is when you are connected to who you truly are, the flow. Which I think is what we're all in pursuit of. We are, and yeah. we're all, and, and the reason why it's so we're so blessed is that we know when we're not there. Hmm. Yeah. But a lot of people go, just fear. It's terrible. So the whole philosophy of life is magic is let go of the illusion of fear and become the reality of love. Oh, I love That's it. it. I know. It's... And fear, as we have seen, is doing horrible things to society. And so we have to like shed it, shed it, shed it, and replace it with love. Also, remove words like can't. Uh, but try uh, in a negative connotation like I'll try uh, they let us off the hook uh, discipline is huge but I also love uh, what you were saying moments ago off camera about uh, the people that, that probably come at you all the time with like Wayne I want to quit smoking Wayne I want to lose weight Wayne I want to be more active Wayne I want to be this that this but I'm just not yes I am a smoker how do I stop yeah so to get there first in their mind and feel it so to start having people program themselves if they are a smoker to go I'm a non-smoker right and now. start to believe it and start to see it because then they will do the things to fill in the blanks closing the gap from where they are to where they want to be and if people say well no but I am a smoker well they you know I will challenge that they didn't come into this world a smoker. <laughs> no, they've no. learned how to smoke so yeah. they can unlearn it so you got to kind of almost uh, challenge a belief system and then get them to adopt that wow and that creates that mental expectancy if I can get somebody to, to believe they're the best dancer in the world and they don't think they can even dance and then they start doing it something has shifted and it was a suggestion that went into their mind so people got to start hypnotizing themselves to believe they can do it I love it it's it's so empowering and we have that ability and if you spend time with Wayne Lee there are uh, ways in which you just feel it unleashed even through conversation through reading uh, about all of the things that you've uh, written about they're amazing and of course the writing starts with us too though as you first laid write out write it down what it is you want what do you want 2017 to be I'll let you have the last uh, 30 seconds on what people can do uh, to give sort of what you've talked us through because you've talked us through several steps and just to give our viewers clarity as opposed to my ramblings yeah. they are I've heard a t well I'm gonna just say here's a soundbite what's the book within you hmm. I think there's so many people nowadays that are entrepreneurs or they don't even necessarily deem themselves as entrepreneurs or they work for other people but they've got that mindset of there's a story within them hmm. and I am so passionate about you tell your story because other people need to hear it they need to hear about your stress your struggles and what you've accomplished and 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 be confident that you have because and it's always a life in progress <laughs> so it's always a work in progress but share it with others because people need to so my mission is to get people to write that story and tell it love it love it and I hope right now I hear like people scrounging around for their pencils or opening up their laptops even just write it down thank you so much it's so great to uh, see you Bridget, Wayley, in yeah. the house we are so lucky uh, we're gonna check out of here right now wrapping up dinner television after this don't go anywhere